Let's see how we can integrate our local or even remote MCP servers to our agentic frameworks that we are currently developing with, namely here in Llama Index as an example. And good news is that you don't need to code anything, I will give you access to all codes that has been developed before. So I just want to provide you walkthrough of that integration. So if you already don't know what is MCP, I have already created a video about it, check this out, but it's all about a new protocol for connecting your AI agents to the tools and services. And now it's pretty hyped, like everybody talks about this, it's becoming a new norm of connecting agents uh, to different tools, databases, API services, so on and so forth. Now the question is, I've already invested a lot to develop my agents using open source frameworks namely Llama Index here. Now how can I integrate the tools that I define in MCP through my agentic workflows that I am developing with Llama Index and have MCP tools added to my Llama Index framework? And Llama Index is just an example here, right? So before I walk through the code and run the demo for you, I want to give you an idea of what I'm going to execute and what I'm going to create and what's the whole goal here, right? If you follow my pointer on the left side, here I have my MCP server. And this MCP server, I'm going to actually try that with the local server. In that local server, I have defined some tools. The first tool that I have defined is that I will send the AP IP of my current device or any given IP to a secondary API which is called fetch IP that it will give me all information for that IP address for example where is that IP location uh, the geographical latitude and longitude the, the country name and given that I have the country name then I can call another tool which is maybe calling a search API that give me all information about that country which that IP is registered under so these are some tools I'm defining locally or it can be a remote server uh, for this, for instance, here I am using actually Zapier, which is now recently giving us a hosted MCP server by themselves. So I can call the integrations and tools that all Zapier is supporting through their MCP added to my agent. So that's a remote MCP server. And then client, MCP client is me actually, my chatbot that I'm running locally. I want to actually have some tools integrated to my chatbot, but because my chatbot is based on Llama Index, then I have an MCP tool adapter .py that it will convert list of tools that I'm retrieving as a function tool inside Llama Index. So the idea is that MCP is retrieving the list of tools that I have available in JSON, but maybe Llama Index as an example is accepting the list of tools as a function tool using Pydantic. So this adapter here is just converting the list of tools that I have in MCP to a function tool available for Llama Index and the rest is easy. I have my Llama Index which is a React agent and I have now function tools which are coming from MCP and I can just utilize my language model choice. Here for this demo I use Claude but you can use Gemini or any other language model so it doesn't matter really. So to give you an idea about that adapter, what do I mean by converting MCP server tools to sort of um, Llama Index function tools? Here on the left side, MCP tool looks something like this. For example, here I do have a tool that fetch information about an IP with the given IP address with this sort of definition, but converting that to pedantic version, now this is what Llama Index will accept as a tool. And that's it, and the code again is available. I didn't code all this adapter stuff by myself. I will add the code that I use in Discord channel on the reference section, and the Discord channel link is added to the video description below. So to show you sort of an idea of what happened when I asked a question from my chatbot, here I would ask a question from my language model and then my language model is based on Llama Index agent. So this agent will try to see what tools I have available to answer that question or do an action because that's an agent. So you will see that my Llama Index agent is calling that MCP tool adapter because this adapter is fetching the tools that I have from MCP server through the MCP client and that adapter is converting that MCP client list of tools back to Llama Index agent. This is literally what's happening here with that adapter which is JSON schema to Pydantic. And because it will realize that, oh, I have a tool that I can fetch information about given IP, then I can go back, execute that through the MCP server because that server is actually calling that external tool or service that I'm using. And then I get the results all the way back to give answer to the user. To give you sort of the flow of what's going on here, 
here is an interactive demo example this is just a mock simulation before i actually show you the code so here let's say i want to know the city of my current ip address regardless of what is my current ip now when i run it llama index realize that okay i need to check what tools i have so i will go to ask my mcp tool adapter which convert my mcp tools to llama index tools and it is sending that MCP client request all the way back to the server that, hey, tell me what type of tools I have available. So the server return all the tools back and that server can be remote like Zapier or even local here. And then that adapter change the list of tools available as a cloud, uh, as a Llama index tool. And then with cloud 3.7, it try to decide what tools I need to fetch here. Oh, I'm going to call a tool called fetch IP info. And then with calling that through MCP adapter, I will have MCP server processing my request, calling that external API. And with the given IP address, let's say here the city was Shanghai, and the answer is back to the user. So let's check this out in action. Then I will show you the Zapier version of that shortly. So I'm going to showcase my demo. So again, I will add all these codes to the Discord channel and the link of the Discord channel is added in the video description below. So you don't need to copy and paste anything from the screen here. So the code that I will provide you has list of requirement.txt. You need to install that. I have already created a virtual environment and I have also installed that already. So I'm not going to do it again. And inside that env file, you, don't need to, you just need to add uh, your language model API or token. And if you want to use a tool here, I'm using a tool called fetch IP info, which is an external website. You need to have the key of that website as well. So you need to get it and copy and paste it here. That's pretty much all you need. And if you are using some other sort of tools, you need to also specify them here as well. Now, after that, you'll see that I have Llama Index MCP example. If I click on it here, actually, this is my agent that I'm creating. And as you can see, I am specifying my agent here, which is Claude, and I'm specifying some list of tools that is coming from list of tools that my MCP adapter is giving to me. So what is MCP adapter? If I open that up, MCP client, there you go. So this is technically the function that convert that JSON uh, format of list of tools of MCP to something like Pydantic, which Lama Index understand that. So this is nothing just really converting list of tools provided to be something that is understandable by Lama Index. That's why in my agent, I am retrieving the list of tools as something that is understandable for Lama Index. So it's coming from adapter. This is the tricky part that you can leverage MCP with your agent inferring words here, let's say Lama Index. So if you want to use language or something else, the only thing going to be different is that the adapter part that you need to modify, and I'm pretty sure it's already available. You don't need to actually code that by yourself. If you just search, you will find it. And then here I have uh, a system prompt, and which is coming from, hey, check, provide the tools before you provide the answer to the user. So technically what I do is that I'm giving a system message to make sure it see a list of tools and choose one before it provides the answer. And I'm giving the date of today that I'm recording the video to give some context about what's the date I'm recording because you will see the type of questions that I'm asking is actually relevant to the date. All right, so here I'm handling the user message and in the main function, I am executing whole end to end. So you will see that when I call this code, I have two type of server. If my client type is SSE, I'm going to execute my MCP server, which is a remote one. And this is actually by Zapier. And I'm going to talk to you about this. What is this and what kind of list of tools I have available under this MCP Zapier. Otherwise, if I run with STD uh, IO, it will run my local MCP server and then execute this agent. And in order to show you actually more precisely, I've copied that example file to run this one locally first. So if I run this one, you will see that my system prompt is different. So I'm telling that, hey, you're supposed to fetch some information about uh, user IP. So if you want to get some information about the given IP, you need to call this tool. And I'm going to show you how I define this tool. But if you want to get then some information about the country that the IP is coming from, I have another tool called Country Details, which is an API that fetch information about a given country side. So where these are actually defined, if I go to my MCP server, 
you will see that under mcpserver.py I have my list of tools the first one is fetching information for the given IP that's why you need to have that token from the um, it's an external actually source of API that I'm using and I have hard coded just a very random IP address you can certainly use yours if you want to give it a test and then the second tool that I have is fetching country details so with the given country symbol let's say USA or US here it will call this external API that retrieves some information about that country these are just sample tools that I'm using to showcase this MCP server and that's pretty much all my MCP client what it does it just actually call my MCP client and try to list the tools that is available through MCP server and call them as needed so let's just start running with uh, a local MCP server and then I will try with the remote MCP server which is Zapier so what I'm gonna do actually let me show you what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna run this example too which what it does it will actually set, say what is the city of my current IP then tell me the details of that country of my current IP so I'm trying to call both tools at the same time to challenge my agent so let's see so what I'm gonna do here let me give it a try okay now I just want to change this to example 2 let me actually maximize my terminal so you'll see what's going on all right so now it is sending the input to the chatbot that hey okay what's my current IP and remember I hard coded the IP so it's not really using my current IP that I have in my system and let's see all right as you can see it is it realized that okay this is my IP and now it is calling an external API to fetch some information about this IP and as you can see it gave back some information oh this is Sydney this is from Australia and here's the latitude and longitude of that IP address again this is a tool I'm calling it's an external API and then all the way down it is telling me okay here are the details about this IP so it is beautifully gathering all the information about the information of that country that IP is coming from and then I also asked that give me all the information about that country which is now Australia so it's calling my sort of second tool that I need to execute and get information about that country and as you can see it was able to actually fetch the information about that country for example population region which is my second tool that I called so this was calling my local MCP server which have two tools and it is using llama index as a function tool to call them now what I'm gonna do let me clear this I want to do the same thing but this time I want to actually do SSE because I want to call a remote MCP server which is my Zapier server so before I run this let me show you what is Zapier actually Zapier is technically a service that has integration for automation to thousands of apps and what they did they said oh MCP is pretty cool so how about I host an MCP server for you because I am as a Zapier already connected to thousands of apps and actions so I give you your MCP server and what you need to do you just need to tell me what actions you want to do with that MCP server and enable that for you so if I click on add new action you will see that now in my MCP server under Zapier website I have already created this list of actions I can send email I can find a document under my Google Docs and I can add events or calendar invite all by my chatbot so if you want to add new actions under your MCP server for Zapier you just click on add a new action and here you just need to type to come up with thousands of different apps or actions as you wish and there are a lot actually I'm not even familiar with all these apps here so you can have almost more than 300,000 type of actions with almost around eight to ten thousands of applications so I want to delete this because I'm okay with all these reactions what I'm gonna do I want to ask my chatbot that hey check out my Google Docs if there is any doc named invoice added today to my Google Drive send me an email that hey there's an invoice file added with this information and also at the same time add a reminder to my Google Calendar for Saturday next week that I need to check out that new invoice all of that three tools three actions automated and I didn't code anything for these integrations because Zapier is doing that on their MCP server which is remote 
all right going back to my code here so what i'm going to do this time i want to run this example.py the code and everything is the same the only difference is that first i want to run sse so it's going to call zapier not my local server and also my system message is that hey just use the tools provided to give the answer which are google docs google calendar and gmail and then what is my question i am going to ask chatbot that hey if there's any google doc added today that's why i gave today dates to my system message and starting the document with invoice send an email to myself mentioning that a new google doc has been added include all documents info and then add google calendar event reminder all right let's run this all right check this out so i executed the code and as you can see it were able to try to find a new google doc that I start with the name invoice which was added today april 5th and it fetched all the information how using the zapier integration so i in zapier i just authenticated to my gmail and google docs and everything so they are handling the integration code token creation, API calls, whatever. I'm just enabling those actions in Zapier and they're hosting that on their own MCP server. I'm just copying my MCP server from there and added that link to the code as I showed you. So let me scroll all the way down. It's telling me that, oh, I actually found a Google Doc with invoice. Here's the name created today. And uh, owner, myself, here's the email, all sort of information and the link of that document. And then remember I have three tools in Zapier this was the first one second one was sending a Gmail to say that hey I found a file so now it says that I have successfully sent the email to Muhammad and I'll check that out before I show you the email I also asked the last thing which is creating an event reminder um, in my Google Calendar to say that hey you need to go ahead and sort of specify uh, a reminder for checking this invoice and here you go so it's added that for next saturday at noon which, because i asked that from a chatbot and it is the final answer so i completed this i found the doc i emailed this and i added the calendar let's check it out here is my gmail as you can see i just got that two minutes ago new invoice google doc added today and there you go it beautifully drafted this email for me and sent that through my mcp server on zapier and giving me the link of that Google Docs. If I open this, this is just a sample fake invoice I created today to check this out. And even I check my calendar, today is April 5th. So next Saturday is 12, April 12th. You can see that it added at noon for me, new information about the need to review this invoice document and giving me the document link. All right, going back to the code, what was the goal here? The goal was, again, how we can integrate the tools that we have on their own MCP servers, whether it is remote or whether it is hosted uh, locally, like Zapier versus the one I have locally, to our agentic frameworks, let's say Llama Index. The same thing with Langchain or any other open source framework that you have in place. You just need to create that adapter like this one. And I'm pretty sure adapters are already there in open source community and enjoy this art of possibility with MCP integrations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, I would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you share your thoughts and questions in comment sections. Thank you so much.